Hi guys, welcome back. This is the FC25. It's like the elder brother to the FC version 3.0. This one is more muscular and powerful than the FC version 3.0. The design is bold and eye-catching. Starting from the front, you get 100mm thick front tire and a very aggressive looking LED headlight. This headlight unit is a good one. It has good illumination and while riding at night, you can clearly see the road without any difficulty. Even in pitch dark condition, this headlight will get you through. The instrument console used here is a fully digital rectangle panel with orange backlight. Its daytime visibility is good and it shows all necessary information like speed, RPM, fuel level, distance covered, trip, etc. The panel used here overall looks nice. Now for the fuel tank used here, it's a very muscular fuel tank with ergonomic curves to help the rider while riding. There are three color options for the FC25 in which two are matte finishes and the one shown here is not matte finish and it's called cyan blue. This one has a glossy finish but Yamaha did a good thing in which they actually used a matte textured plastic on the center portion of the tank. This will help to keep the tank free from scratches even if you place something on the tank. The tank out here has the air vent mesh from the front and also has the FC25 branding. And overall, I really like this macho style fuel tank in which the fuel tank capacity is 14 liters, which is really good. And for the mileage, during normal city use, we got between 35 to 40 km per liter, and I feel that's good considering this is a 250cc bike. Now, checking the handlebar, it's a straight type handlebar with black paint scheme and has all necessary switch controls. On the left, there is the dim bar bright switch with integrated pass light, indicator toggle, and horn. And on the right, you get the engine kill switch and the self start switch. One thing I was not a fan of of the FC version 3.0 was its tail light, but on the FC25 it's a different story. The tail light on the FC25 is a very sharp looking LED tail light. I really like this one. And also the pillion grab rail is the split type grab rail which is comfortable for the pillion to hold. Then for the muffler, it's Yamaha's iconic midship muffler. This muffler design looks futuristic and the exhaust note is a real joy. It gives you an adrenaline rush feel while riding. And finally, for the 140mm rear tire, there is a tire hugger. Now, you actually miss a undercowl on the FC25 compared to the FC version 3.0, but still, the FC25's design is more muscular and gives a first impression just by look that this bike is a powerhouse. And here, looks are not at all deceiving. The FC25 is powered by Yamaha's 249cc air-cooled 4-stroke 2-valve single-cylinder I torque fuel injected engine and this engine can produce maximum power of 20.9 PS at 8000 RPM and maximum torque of 20 Newton meter at 6000 RPM. And I have to say it, this bike is a real powerhouse. You're not going to get a very sport bike like power, but the engine is tuned in such a manner that anyone can ride it and still enjoy the power. The pickup is very abrupt and the bike gains speed with ease. You can hit the 100 plus mark without any stress and whatever speed that you may be riding, you won't feel any vibration from any parts. Yamaha's bikes are so refined and that's seen here too. Now in case if you're wondering, can you use the FC25 as a daily commuter bike? Yes, you surely can. It's not like the R15 which has a sport bike seating poster, but on the other hand, the FC25 has an upright riding poster. The 5-speed gearbox coupled to the engine, like other Yamaha bikes, have very smooth shifting and is a bit rare set. But still, like I said before, the overall seating posture is upright and you won't experience any discomfort. And this seating posture makes the FC25 an all-rounder bike. You can use it for your daily office use and also for long touring. And since the bike has enough power, you can even take it for occasional fun track ride. The seat used on the FC25 is a split type seat, which is comfortable for both the rider and the pillion. And even after riding for 50 plus km in a stretch, I didn't experience any discomfort. Now, the only thing I wished Yamaha did was to use a bit more cushioning for the rider seat. Coming to the seat height, it's perfect for me and I could comfortably plant both my legs. The suspension used here are also very good. The front is a telescopic fork suspension and the rear is a swing arm monocross suspension. It's set moderately stiff and during my testing, I didn't experience any stress or strain even while riding through some really bad road conditions. Like the FC version 3.0, I didn't touch the best part yet. And that's the ride control. It's a much more heavy bike compared to the FC version 3.0, but still, you can control it with ease. You can easily maneuver through traffic or avoid a rough patch. For a 250cc bike, 
This one is one of the best in terms of ride control. And for the ground clearance, it's 160mm and you don't have to worry while riding through rough patches. So everything like the engine performance, ride quality and comfort and ride control is really good with the FC25. And to make it a more safer ride, you also get dual channel ABS for braking. And this is a great thing. For the brakes, both the front and rear are disc brakes with ABS equipped on both the front and rear and you don't have to worry while braking. Let it be at low speed or maybe high speed, the bike stays well in control while braking. Even while doing a sudden brake, I didn't experience any issues. And that's everything for the MR FC25. And if you're wondering about the price, the ex showroom pricing of the FC25 is approximately 1,35,855 Indian rupees. And also, if you're in Kollam, Kerala and want to know details about booking or even on road pricing, then you can contact the number shown here. So, for the final verdict, should you buy the FC25? Well, you might have guessed it by now. Yes, for sure, go for it. If you're in the market for a very powerful all rounder bike, with good safety, then for this price, I think this is one of the best options available. Yamaha did compromise a bit on the build quality, like the plastic parts used, but if you take good care of your bike, it's not going to be an issue. And like I said before, for this price, this is one of the best 250cc bikes, which has a very refined engine with muscular design, great ride control, and a very good ride quality and comfort. That's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked it. If so, please do hit the like button and please do subscribe. See you again in the next video. Till then, bye.